In this lesson, we're going to add a countdown. This is one of the new features that they added uh, that wasn't available in the previous version. So you click on add on and just click on countdown. Now countdowns are really great because it makes your page, you know, let people know when something is coming up. Uh, this is the timer. So you have the title. You can put in the title. New course coming in. And then you scroll down. And this is the finished text. So what this means is once the countdown reaches uh, the, the time that you've set it, this is what it's going to show here. So you want to make sure you change that. And then the counter height, uh, the width, you can check the color, the counter background, the border radius, uh, the text color. So this is 2018. So I'm going to change this here to 2017. And this is the month and this is the date. You change this to March 24th. Okay, March 24th, 2017. Yep, that's my birth date. Okay, so let's save. And let's preview this on the front end. So now you have the countdown. You notice here, it's slowly counting down. There's 116 days, 17 hours, and 33 minutes. So this is really great. Let's say you're having a webinar, and this is something too that I use when I'm designing my, you know, sites uh, for myself with clients. A countdown is is another great feature that you can add on your site. So let's come back here now. We're gonna edit this uh, countdown in the front end. So you have a lot of control over the buttons and uh, the change. So let's see the letter spacing. You can change that too. The the font style make this bolder the, the height you can change the title color you can change the background color so if you don't want the background color to be blue you can change that to something else you can use borders and then it's the border radius let's put 15 and then it's the label font and it's the border color So this is here for the label size. Let's change this one from 14 to 30 and apply. So that's what you have now. This is the, uh, notice that the size for this one is a little bigger and then the colors for that have changed. And you can also make some more changes for the title. I'm gonna put this one as 75 and let's click on save apply and then there you have it's a lot bigger now so this is another great way for you to add a countdown to your site maybe you're working on your site and it's going to be back in you know a few days a few weeks or whatever it is that's another great way to add a countdown to your website